Okay. My question is that um, with the splash, how, maybe I'm, I know I'm illiterate when it comes to the splash, and it seems like it belongs to the city, but how does it impact, impact the county when they have no voting power with the city? They can't vote for the mayor? It's intricate for me to, to try to understand and comprehend what's going on with the splash. Well, the, the county is, is the county initiative with the city initiative in the sense of the county has projects and the city has projects and it's all come together. And the splash itself, when we pass it in November, then that then that that money, that one cent, that one percent there is what goes to those splash funds, those, those projects that are happening. So it's the county initiative though. So the county initiates it, the splash itself. Am I correct on this? We have to call for it. And then they call for it, the county calls for it, and then the city also comes in with their with their projects too. And when the county do I know the population, population there's, a, there's a lot more to it. it. Well, the and I'm not going to sit here and say I know it all because these guys have been in a lot longer than I have, so I'm smart enough to, to look to them for guidance also on this, but I am learning a lot about this. But Scotty and them can talk to you probably more, uh, Councilman Vickers, on, but it is a county initiative. They, everyone wants to call for a spot, and then, and then we come in and, and all together we set up our, our projects. And if you want to later on, I've got, I've got the breakdown. How much like Dasher gets, Lake Park gets. I've got the breakdown up here, the percentage of how, and I actually got the PowerPoint of how it's all done. If you ever, Everybody you votes. That, I understand that. But what gets me is that what gives them the power to reap benefits when they don't have voting power? You do vote. Everybody votes. Everybody votes. I think, I think what he's yes. saying is. But what you're saying? See, a lot of people think that we're going to vote. A lot of people think since we're voting in November is more than just the mayor or the council. They don't realize that we do have the Board of Education and we have the Splash. Splash is not just a city thing. Splash is a county 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 thing. That are running, the people that are running are city officials. But the, um, should we say, the recommendation of the squash is a different thing. It's not, it's, it's like a, uh, should I say, a commission for something? Or it's a, it's a, kind it's a law. Of, it's a law. You think of a law. Kind of coming yeah. to this, coming to this city, I was in the military, the military got here. It just, it was incomprehensible for me to see that the, only the city folks can vote. So I guess that's where our complex comes in. But I think that's, that's like so because any, any other municipality, they only have their guidelines there to do. Their boundaries of the league and the county is just a, we live in the county, so uh, the way that I take it is that the city of only city individuals vote for the city of Los Angeles, only people that vote in the city of Tiffany, vote for the city of Tiffany. I mean, I, I, it's just a structure of what we govern ourselves.
these are the vote, these are the projects we're going to fund with this SPLOS tax if you approve it. You're, when you're voting on SPLOS, you're not voting city, county, you're voting on a list of projects we're going to fund with that money. <laughs> I'll accept that. I'll accept that. It's tough. Oh, congratulations.